Hi, it's Face of Tech. I've got another Cyberdeck build. After finishing my um, 2020 uh, aluminium extruded uh, version with the Raspberry Pi 400, um, it kind of took residency on my desk. Um, it's like my um, works, work, work computer. So I thought I'd make a sort of small modular one. Um, the Raspberry Pi Zero 02 come out and I thought, great, I'm going to use that in my build. So I've ordered one. I was going to have a 3.5 inch screen, uh, but like a more higher res one than previous previous builds. Um, but then kind of weighing it up, I thought I want to add a lot of stuff, basically exactly the same stuff that I had in my other Cyberdeck build in this one. And I didn't. I wanted to hide everything kind of behind the screen and make it sort of like a, make it more like a tablet. Um, so I went with a five inch screen, same similar screen layout to the um, seven inch one that I used in the other build. But this is the five inch one. Everything the same, all the same ports. Everything's basically the same, which was good. Worked out really well. I'll give you a quick overview of this um, hardware, and then I'll I'll show you the ins the internals. We've got a five inch screen. We've got a little. GPIO cover because this is what there's few things that I needed was access to GPIO and access easy access to the SD card. So I basically there's only kind of one way that would work out that would have these two sides I'm um, shown. Um, and I've made a little cover so it kind of like blends into the rest of the rest of the shell, but you can still get access to it. Um, got around the side here we got two full size USB ports. I got one. Um, one actually is internally and in, that runs the screen touch screen because it's kind of runs like a mouse. Uh, I've got this one which is a keyboard and mouse um, externally and then another the one just just an extra spare one you know more than more the merrier. Um, I've got this which is a USB-C charger charge port then on the top here we've got the on and off switch with like a little bit of a safety so that it wouldn't accidentally turn it off if you chuck it in your bag. We've got the volume knob for the amp, headphone jack, we've got a speaker which is a DS Lite speaker and then we've got this other port which is a power port because sometimes you want to run it for like a long period of time but you don't want to kind of have it charged uh, running off the batteries so you can have the batteries charged up ready to go and then run it straight off the power uh, and then you're not kind of uh, messing with your charge and you can just leave that in indefinitely power and it just powers straight everything else it doesn't affect the uh, power circuit uh, nothing really around the side this is kind of like what makes this build quite quite cool uh, quite well because it's basically a mod let me want to make it like modular so this is basically a rail that you can slide things onto um so that I can add things because there's like kind of like before I've kind of like made it like a permanent part of it like everything's like permanent but this is kind of one of it to be mix and match sort of um you know add add and take away stuff that you want uh, on the back here we've got the the um power indicator for the uh patchy power bank um right now I'll show you the internals. This is this is one of my old scrap shells I had. We've got a massive four four hundred four thousand milliamp power battery in the middle here. This was taken out of a um, uh, power line power bank, which is only about a fiver. We've got the two full size USB ports here. We got this is the charge port area, which has got you can see that the light the light pipes uh, coming through there. So it's so all the LEDs are individually uh, kind of like assigned a bay, so you can easily see. The charge level this is where the power switch goes in it just slots in a lot of this stuff is like slot in and clip in i designed it with like clips so it's kind of like modular because like i did this one and then i took it uh moved it to this new shell and basically i've just clipped out and then clipped the electronics all in which worked out quite well got the hole for the amp here for the volume rocker this is actually also um this is this, this upside down because it's got the leds shining through the bottom this also uh, amp is also upside down so the bottom of the pcb comes here so the space underneath for the um headphone jack like so you got the ds light speaker that just slots in there this is the power amp uh the power board like a custom board that i made with just um usb pd uh, it's just got the you know the resistors in there so you can uh, use any sort of any charger with it Oh, we've got these on top, which is to add like a rail, uh, like a clip. If you want to have like a, you wear it like a handbag, or you want to add like a uh, something hanging off it, you can do. I've got a few accessories that I've made for this rail. I've got this one, which is the probably the best one, just a fixed, um, fixed stand, so you can like use it with a keyboard or whatever. It works out quite well. I probably might make one that's uh, adjustable. Um, sort of using the GoPro uh, bolt system, which would be quite nice. Uh, and then also, this is a bit tight, I don't want to put this on, but it's this keyboard. So you can add a keyboard to the bottom. I'll just slide it on. It might get stuck. 
there it is and you can have hold it like a keyboard what do you think it could i think that also i think it needs to be angled because when I mean, you hold it flat it's a bit too flat to your face you need it kind of a little bit of an angle to it so i probably redesign that but that just slides in and out and you still have access to your on and your um, on and off switch and your power charging so it's all there um like i say it's just got a raspberry pi zero two in it runs really well it's just got like the normal zero it's it's, it's okayly powered but it was just a bit underpowered but the two also has the low power modes but also it runs especially basically like a raspberry pi 3 kind of um but yeah as usual there'll be blog post with more description um and with all the design files if you want them uh, i'm not sure how you would really you could go about recreating this because there's mostly off the shelf parts um quite easy to get hold of a lot of the innards is just uh the the um the usb uh hub it's just literally, I took it out. It's like one of the like spider ones people call them, don't they? Where they have just just odd ports hanging off them. So I just took all that, stripped it all back, and it literally just sits sandwiched between everything else. It's all a bit of a mess of wires in there. But yeah, as usual, thanks for watching. Bye.